that I really like. Coming to the end can be both exciting and disappointing. I want to know what happens, but I don't want to leave these characters that I've grown to enjoy so much. Frankly, that dual feeling rarely occurs these days. When it does, that's a book I'll read again. But first, I'll rush and buy the author's next book. So when I approach the end of a book I'm writing, trepidation sets in. I'm always afraid of letting my readers down after they've stayed with me for some 300 odd pages. And this is where I am now on a paranormal thriller that I've been working on for several months. Yes, I know the process for creating a satisfactory ending. First comes crisis, the hero's blackest moment. Everything is lost or about to be and the hero feels helpless, miserable, worthless. There's no way out, nothing he or she can do to make it right. Then comes the climax scene. The hero dredges up strength and willpower to do it anyway. Using the last scrap of energy, last idea, last trick, last ally, he confronts the opponent. After the dust settles comes the denouement or wrap up. This is where the exhausted writer ties up loose ends and hints at a hopeful or, depending on the genre, a fearful future. Knowing the components of an ending is great, but the writing is still scary. This part carries so much weight, and so many authors do it wrong. But I have my mind map, my brain music, a full pot of coffee, and today I'm going to start with Crisis and knock this ending out of the park. <laughs>